There is a 2016 study by Bitdefender saying that one out of every 10 P viewers is under 10 years old. That means that 10% of all P traffic is done by children under 10 years old. There's another study from the same exact company, which aren't peer reviewed, but I still believe that it's legitimate, that say children are now viewing P as early as six years old. They go from watching Minecraft, Roblox, and Fortnite videos straight to it because there's nothing stopping them. It's everywhere they go. If you give your kid an iPad or an iPhone, you're basically saying, please go watch P. Because unless you have the maximum parental controls on your iPad, unless you call your your mobile service pr provider and block P on there, and as long as you go into your router settings and change the DNS, which almost every single parent does not even know how to even log into their router, let alone change the DNS settings on it. Or they would never call Verizon or Sprint and say, hey, can you please block P for my children? And they would never know how to go into the iPad settings and turn on all of these P restrictions that they have. Until recently, we're actually getting progress. I, I genuinely can't believe this. Utah signed a bill to ban P on new devices. So that means when you buy an iPhone for your children, that device will automatically have the blockers built into it, and then they would have to go manually opt out of it. So all new devices going into Utah should have this, as long as I think it was five other states pass this bill as well. This is a monumental step in the right direction. I'm trying to contain my smile as I'm speaking right now, but I'm so excited to see this come into play. I mean, look, look think of it like this. If you were to walk into a gas station and buy a pack of cigarettes, you would have to get ID'd because we all know that cigarettes cause cancer. It's common sense, right? Cigarettes are not good for your health. Everyone knows this. But when you go into a gas station, you have to be over 18 or in, in Michigan at least, you have to be over 21 years old to buy a pack of cigarettes and they have to see your ID. But with there's no ID verification. You just have to tap yes on some sites. If they even ask you, which most sites don't, to be honest, you can type in literally a five-letter word into your browser and get a plethora, millions of hours of no restrictions, no block on it. There's no laws really stopping it. And now Utah is the first state making change in the USA. The Republican governor of Utah has signed a legislation requiring all cell phones and tablets sold in the conservative state to automatically block pornography. I don't know why they had to mention that it was Republican and conservative. I, th I think this is something that we can all agree on, right? That porn is bad for children to be watching. Right, left, up, down, triangle, square, set. I mean, it doesn't matter what, what your views are. This is something that we can all come together and say, yeah, I don't want my nine-year-old daughter or son to be watching pornography. Critics are calling the divisive move a significant intrusion on the First Amendment right to free speech. How, how is this intruding on your First Amendment? How can you even critique this? I, I see nothing wrong with this bill. I mean, wouldn't it benefit all of humanity if nine-year-old children were not watching naked people have isn't this better for everybody? Nobody wants nine-year-old, eight-year-old, or even six-year-old kids to be watching pornography. Besides, obviously, the, the big companies that, that are supplying the porn themselves, nobody wants children to be stumbling across this and becoming addicted to it, having family issues, and overall degrading their mental health. Nobody wants that. So if, if you want to view it, by all means, it's still not good for you at age 20 or age 50. It's not good for you. But if you want to view it, you just go to your settings, click a few buttons, and now you got access to it all over again. It's just better that it's more of an opt-in. Like, if you want to view this, you have to opt out of the porn blockers. And when all these children are now getting iPads at age what, four and five, they're going to be a lot less likely to stumble across. How can anybody be against that idea? The governor claims the measure would send an important message about preventing children from accessing explicit content online. No immediate steps towards implementation will be made unless five other states enact similar laws. This is the major issue of it. So nothing will be made, nothing will change unless five other states in the USA enact similar laws. This is going to be the hardest part about getting this to even go through. I'm not sure what I can do exactly as a citizen besides talk about it. I'm not sure if there's anybody that I can call any letters that I can write to people and let them know how detrimental this is to people's or at least young people's health. But I, I really hope that this can make change. This is another example of the legislator dodging the constitutional impacts of the legislation they pass. Critics of the measure, including adult film star 
I'm not even, not even going to say her name at this point, had called the governor to veto the measure over concerns about free speech implications. Of course, it's an adult film star. Addressing the constitutional question, Ms. Pulsifer says that adults can deactivate the filters. Experts maintain that it still raises legal concern, and this is where we're going to have problems seeing it actually come into play. Utah lawmakers have long fought against pornography, having previously mandated warning labels on print and online publications and declared a public health crisis of 2016, the first state to do so. The truth is, if you have a cell phone or a tablet that you use every single day, no matter what your age is, it's only a matter of time until you accidentally stumble across pornography and then possibly potentially become addicted to it. I see this happen over and over again, and we need a law like this to actually actually make change because do you really think that Pornhub by themselves is going to say, you know what, we kind of realize there are children watching our videos and we don't care about money. Like we're, we're not worried about money at all. We actually just love humanity and we're just going to just stop children from watching this. They don't care if cigarette companies could sell to 12 year olds, they do it, right? They don't care as long as these companies are making money. That's their only motive. Don't ever forget that. So we have to make laws. We have to make it so that they can't just sell to anybody, right? A 12-year-old kid can't just go buy a pack of cigarettes or a 9-year-old can't just go and watch porn on his brand new iPad that his mom bought him to watch Tom and Jerry. No, now he's watching pornography. That's the truth that happens to almost every single person that owns any of these devices. When you give someone access to the World Wide Web unrestricted at age 9, age 7, age 6, they're going to watch porn. I can promise that. What's making this issue such a big problem is the fact that nobody knows how big of a problem it really is, including parents, and you can't fully blame them because when they were growing up, all they had were cigarettes and they would have to go to a store and steal it or at least steal it from someone that they knew in real life. They would have to leave their house and go actively seek this drug, right? Or even if they wanted to view those magazines that they had in the gas stations back in the day, they would have to go snoop and sneak and see it for a few seconds until the gas station clerk would start screaming at them and shoo them out of the store. Not anymore. Now you just type in five letters into your browser and you get millions of hours of videos and you can hide it behind a passcode to your phone or tablet and you can hide that additionally by deleting your history. So unless you're a really proactive parent that knows exactly how to read your kid's mind, which a lot of parents don't know how to do, then you can't tell that your kid is watching pornography unless you study their behavior and you realize that they're kind of getting slightly depressed and they're always down all the time and they have low energy and they're always staring at their phone screens. But most parents aren't that proactive. If you're literally relying on every single parent in the country to be that proactive to log into their router by pinging their default gateway, which is 192.168.0.1 for most houses, and then change their DNS server to 1.1.4 and 1.0.0.4, they don't even know what a DNS server is. You can't expect every single parent in the country to be going this length to stop something that they don't even know is real. So if you're a parent, please take action. And if you think this is a big problem, if you have little brothers and sisters, nieces and nephews, then please take action some other way. I'm not sure exactly what we can do as of right now. I'm not sure who we can call up or what letters we can write to which people. But as soon as I find out, I will let you know in the comments below. Thank you for watching this video. Hopefully together we can make change. Stay dreaming, stay lucid. I'm out. Peace.